Hello all, and welcome back to a quick summary for our Metal in the Streets, a Blaze in the Dark campaign. So, we had opened up wrapping up after the warehouse job. Uh, there was much discussion on what to do next, and many opportunities presenting themselves. Well, Daedalus and Soren had an encounter where Daedalus' medicine came into question after Jewel had been picked up and unable to deliver some very vital components. Dart and Needle were invited by a leviathan hunter they know known as Madame Sinclair to a dinner. It looked like quite the feast was set up and many were expected, however they were the only ones to show up. In her frustration she gave out the job she was planning to sell off to them. Another person of importance had brought something back from the outside, though it's not something they could bring through legally, so they were forced to abandon it in the Lost District for pickup. She had recommended that this crew go get it for them. She knew that they would be paying six coin, and she gave the address of the pickup and delivery, leaving it up to the crew if they decided to pick up this unique piece or not. With the six coin on the table, the crew definitely wanted to do this. However, the danger of the outside world came into question. Searching through the city for answers, they got what information they could, including another gang that might use the aqueducts to slip in and out of the city. The crew then made their way out, planning to use a small favor of Umberly, a little monument statue that was given to them after their goal to lower the waters below the lightning barrier and slip out. As they managed to do so, dark creatures, turning out to be minions of Satara, invaded the ship, attacking most of the crew other than Needle. As Needle reached out to his patron to understand what would happen, it was revealed that she had demanded something the crew, and the crew had chosen not to do it, nor tell Needle. This led to a schism, and after they fended off the creatures, Needle quickly departed into the Lost District, following the person who was watching stuff. As the others got the crate on the ship, Needle encountered a ghost lion and decided that bygones can be bygones and made his way back to the ship, barely surviving the bite. Back on the ship, they made their way back, deciding to stop their lair and take a look at what they had grabbed. To their excitement or surprise, this box mark was marked with the military sigil, and inside they found four advanced spears, some kind of powerful weapons, some gauntlets capable of enhancing the strength of the user, and many ectoplasm ammunition in a specialized model to go into these devices. The crew, if they were to quickly off-hoist this stuff on the streets, would earn about 26 gold. So with that, we are left with the decision of, do they complete this job? Or, do they make out with this themselves? And potential wrath of a leviathan hunter, a unknown patron, and the military. With that, the decision is your hands. Also, the table has been upgraded, uh, versions as Foundry advances, so if anyone logs in and finds any bugs, please let me know. I will try and fix them as quickly as possible. With that, I hope everyone's having a great week, and I will see you next time at the table. Bye for now.